When I was 26, I took a solo trip to Europe. I spent a week in Paris. Then I went to Italy, where I hung out with Juliet in Verona, and went to Rome, where I stood in front of the Colosseum like gladiator. Who'd have thought that years later, in 2024, solo travel would become one of the hottest travel trends? It is definitely an explosion in the last few years. Morocco, Venice, Cuba, that's just a sliver of the countries Mar Pagès has explored. I've been traveling by myself for more than 20 years. Pagès is co-founder of the site Solo Female Travelers, which offers travel advice and tours to women looking for solo adventures. Traveling solo is this feeling of like, wow, I could do it by myself. I managed the entire thing by myself. In a Booking.com survey, 59% of people were looking to venture alone this summer. Pinterest found searches for solo travel are up 35%. While traveling solo has its perks, what you don't have is a group of people to help split the cost. But travel companies are paying attention. Priceline promoted a solo explorer sale to help independent travelers save by bundling a hotel and flight to certain destinations. People are looking for more enriching cultural and historical experiences. In addition to bundling, Priceline's Leslie Klein says be flexible with your dates. You can also look for free or more affordable activities. Pages recommends you set price tracking alerts for flights, stay in hostels or shared dorms, connect with hosts who let you stay in their homes, and pay in advance as much as possible. If you're buying a package tour and it's it allows you to pay in installments ahead of the trip. That's fantastic. If a solo trip sounds like it's for you. Relaxing, taking uh, time for yourself, some me time. Add it to the budget now and you don't waste your money. I'm John Matteris.